Hello. How's our road project on Bacolor? Yes po ma'am. Kasalukuyang pong tinatapos and I'm working on the budget. You know on our commission ma'am. Okay. Good. Make sure no one will know this. Siguro naman you will receive enough money to keep your mouth shut. Of course ma'am. Rest assured this will remain confidential. Breaking news, DPWA's Secretary Lawrence Barani was considered as one of the corrupt officials who corrupted several road works, including the ongoing road project on Bacoor. The ombudsman was expected to investigate the incident. This is Merlin Bermalit M. De Lasso reporting. We're going to tackle about the office of the Ombudsman. Yes, partner. To start with, our general gave us a brief history about the office of the Ombudsman. The Ombudsman is a time-tested institution which involved the Scandinavian countries. It was aimed at giving the common people a tribunal to which they can readily ventilate their grievances against the government. King Charles of King Charles of Sweden is general credited with initiating the office of the ombudsman, an official with which the title of Augusta Ombudsman, Super Royal Ombudsman, was appointed in 1713. He was assigned to keep an eye on royal official and, super, and supervise observance of the laws. Sometimes he was even commissioned, commissioned to represent the king, king in some official function. Introduction in the Constitution of 1809, an ombudsman was appointed by Swedish Parliament, making an official in, independent from the king. Ombudsman comes from the Oregon and word Ambushmar, Ambushmar, which meaning ad administration man or king representative as a Swedish word. Swedish word it literally it literally means one one who represent another. So I am partner. Thank you, Arjun. The office of the ombudsman has a great story. Yes, partner. It has a great background, but I am just curious. Ano talaga ang function nito? To back up your curiosity, Buhari is here to give us an idea what are the function of the Office of the Ombudsman. The Office of the Ombudsman shall be have the following powers, function and duties, investigate and prosecute its own or own compliant by any person, any act or omission of any public office or employee. Office agency, when such act or omission appears to be illegal, unjust, improper, or inefficient, it has primary jurisdiction over the case considerable by the Sandigan Bayan and the exercise of its primary jurisdiction may take over at any stage from invest investigatory agencies, government, and investigation of such case, direct upon compliant or at its own instance any officer or employee of the government of any submission agencies instrumentally Europe as well any government owned or control corporation with original character to perform and ex expedite any act or duty required by law or to stop prevent and correct any abuse or impro impropriety in the performance of duties direct the officers could serve to take appropriate action against the public officer employee 
at fault or who neglects to perform an act discharged a duty required by law and recommend his removal, suspension, demotion, fine, censure or prosecution and ensure compliance therewith or enforces disciplinary authority as provide section 21 or this act provide that refusal by any officer without just cause of comply with an order the ombudsman to remove, suspend, demote, fine, and censure, or prosecute an officer com employee who is a fault or who neglects to perform an act discharge or duty required by law shall be ground for disciplinary action against the officer. Thank you, Buhari. Now I understand what the office of the ombudsman is. Kaya pala sa example na binigay kanina, sa office of the ombudsman napunta yung case ng korab na official. Yes, partner. Kaya let's know more about it. Right? The mandate of the office of the ombudsman. The ombudsman and his deputies as protector of the people shall act promptly and complain filed in any form of manner against officer or employees of the government or any subdivision agency or instrumentality thereof including government owned or controlled corporation and enforce their administrative civil and criminal liability in every case where the evidence warrant in order to promote efficient service by government to the people section 13 RA number 770 see also the section 12 article 11 of the 1987 constitution the ombudsman shall give priority to complaints filed against high-ranking government official and or those occupying supervisory position complaints involving grave offense as well as complaints involving large sum of money and property <laughs> section 15 RA number 6770. The office of the ombudsman has its own mission and vision and quality policy also. The vision is to realize public accountability expectation. The mission is an office of the ombudsman is that will transform public accountability into the norm and recognize as the central corruption prevention arm of the government. And the quality policy is the office of the ombudsman is committed to integrity and excellent in the discharge of its mandate, serving with the highest standard of quality and efficiency by exceeding client expectation and always improving its quality management system, compliant with global standard for the benefits of the Filipino people. So Ayan partner, have you seen the logo of the office of the ombudsman? Yes partner, pero I wonder what its meaning. Siyempre, just like any other logo, may mga meaning yung mga yan. So, let's go with Joe Bird to discuss it. To start off the seal, this emblem symbolizes the mandates and role of the uh, office of the ombudsman, assistant to the public. The shield, balance, and diger signify the assistant with the ombudsman should provide the public proficiency as the protector of the people, in just sincere manner. Fight against graft and corruption. The same shield balance and diger signify the fight against graft and corruption. The shield contained the elements of it. the Philippine flag sig signify the office as the protector of the people against uncorrupt corpus civil servant. The balance represents fairness and just justness in handling of complaints against erring Civil, civil servant. The same balance symbolizes the fight against graft and corruption through the balance use of, of both the constitution, investigation and prosecution, and physiological approaches. The, the judge affirmed the punitive measure the office can impose upon the civil servant found to the commit unscrupulous etc. Promotion of the public accountability and norms of conduct of public office. The, the laurel speak of honor and this distinction for the office to serve as a model in promoting the highest standard of the ethic 
in the entire government bureaucracy. Antonov will give us more information about the office of the Ombudsman. So the present Ombudsman in the Philippines is Samuel R. Martirez. He is the sixth Ombudsman of the Republic of the Philippines at precisely aspirations, but fate intervened and he went on to become a lawyer and more importantly to tread a remarkable journey in public service. We also want to talk about the constitutional guarantees insulating the office from political influence and interference. The organic provisions finally approved insulated the office from political influence or interference by giving the ombudsman and his deputies whose appointments need no congressional confirmation, the rank of chairman and members respectively of a constitutional commission, prescribing for them fix them of office during which their salaries cannot be diminished, removable from office only by impeachment and making it an independent office enjoying fiscal autonomy. Thank you, Antonet. Siyempre, partner, papalagpasin ba natin na hindi makita ang building ng office of the Ombudsman? Of course not, partner. Though we are in an online platform, let me share some of its pictures. So, ayan, partner. To sum it up, we know that the Office of the Ombudsman is the agency where government officials, employees, etc. are being investigated. Yes, and it will show to our example a while ago. Yes, partner, and thank you to all of our reporters who shared their knowledge to us. Hope you've learned about the topic.